get our acceleration here at the charger. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going over a 2022 Dodge Charger SXT all-wheel drive blacktop. First and foremost, though, a huge shout-out and thank you to the Larry Miller Dodge Ram here in Sandy for giving me some time with this charger. Check out the inventory in the description down below, and then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into the review. Now under the hood here, we have a Natchi aspirated 3.6 liter V6 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 18 around town and then 27 on the highway with power outputs being 303 horsepower and then 268 pound feet of torque. Now let's go over the front end of the Charger. So first off, I love all the different body lines here on the hood. You've got this one here, well a couple there on the center and off to the side. Just gives it a muscular appearance. And then coming down below, we've got the C-shaped LED accent lights and then the projector bulbs, there are halogen lights. Fog light action happening down below. And then you can see here with the grill, notice how it's all darkened, uh, except for the Dodge logo that's finished in chrome to make it pop out a little bit more. And other than that, that is everything for the front end. Now coming around the side here, we've got two 35 millimeter tires wrapped around 19 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And then notice with the coloration on the wheels, they're like a dark metallic gray, which I think looks fantastic. And you know, even though it doesn't necessarily contrast the black from, you know, a shade perspective, it's at least different enough in color that, I don't know, I like it. Anyways, notice here with the molding there for the fenders. And then we have the C shape here on the front door. That's kind of like a signature of the charger and Taking a few steps back, you can see the full side view. There's not a whole lot happening here with the car, but there's actually a body line that's pretty much the same on the Charger and the Challenger that's like right there straight across. And well, that's all. Here's our key fob. We have our unlock lock remote start and then the opening here for the trunk with the Dodge logo there on the back. And well, let's pop here into the trunk area and kind of go over this whole setup. So first off, you can see storage space back here is just phenomenal, definitely solid. And move this over. See the spare tire just underneath in our uh, whole battery setup. Interesting. Um, but yeah, I mean, for us, it's a larger size sedan. It's got a large trunk. Kind of makes sense, right? Boom. Now let's finish things up here with the rear. So notice we've got the satin spoiler here, which I've always been a fan of, the spoiler on the Charger. I think it just looks great. Camera just down below, and then we have the Charger LED light bar, which, of course, if you're driving this car at night, everyone's going to think you're a cop, and they're going to slow down around you. Got the Charger Dash 4 badge right there to let everyone know that you got the all-wheel drive. Parking sensors here at the bottom. And then you can see you've got like the kind of like wedge shape there for the exhaust tip coverings. And yeah, that's the rear. Here's the door panel in the rear. You guys can see the cloth trim here at the top and then down below with the padding. Got some nice stitching with that. Definitely a solid appearance. And here are the seats. So again, cloth seats, kind of a couple different textures. This center portion's a little bit uh, rougher, basically, from an appearance standpoint. And then it's kind of like softer here on the outside portion, but popping in. Here's the leg room. Here's the headroom. You can see we've got some vents back here. Got a couple of USBs as well. And then we can pull this down. Armrest cup holder situation. Nothing too crazy happening with that. Let's head to the front. Now here's the door panel at the front. You can see again with the cloth trim and kind of how that goes across and the padding down below. All of the window controls, you notice the front two are automatic and then the mirror adjustments. You can see here with the door handle. And then here's a quick look at the mirrors. They are heated. And then here's the front seat. Again, you can see with the cloth trim and then down below where it's kind of like rougher with the texture and then softer here on the sides. Power adjustments here on the side of the seat. And then we got the pedal layout just down below. And then we got the light control right there. The trunk release steering wheel is manually adjustable and let's pop in. So here's our steering wheel. Notice we've got the padding here at the top and at the bottom and then it's perforated here on the side to get a little bit of a better grip. And then we've got our cruise control here and then notice paddle shifters and then radio controls just underneath. Controls for the center stack, voice command, phone controls as well. Turn signal, windshield wiper stock and Oh, there's a steering wheel. Now here is the center gauge cluster. You can see you've got analog gauges on either side, and then you can see the screen there in the center. You can scroll through a few different menus. There's your fuel economy, 
for example. And yeah, pretty straightforward setup. We do have a sport mode, which will pop up with that little flag just below the temperature here in the corner. And that's the gauge cluster. Now here is the infotainment system. First off, we pop it into reverse. You've got the trajectory lines that do turn with the camera. Uh, resolution on it, it's pretty solid. And then moving to the rest of the infotainment system, dual zone climate, we do have heated seats and a heated steering wheel uh, for the front. Response time on the screen is also fantastic. Uh, easy to use, so that's solid. And if we press the super track pack button, notice that we have a launch control, which is pretty cool. Change the RPMs. Uh, and then your drive mode setup, you can change the sport and the normal mode. And then you have the performance pages, which will show like real time horsepower and torque. And that's all. We've got our analog controls here for the radio, and then um, also, again, the sport mode, and then the super track pack parking sensors. And then we've got our analog controls here for the climate system. Again, it has a dual zone climate, and then the 12 volt off the side, and then a little bit of extra storage space right there. Shifter for the eight speed automatic. Again, it has a manual shift function. And then notice our Dodge Brothers logo right here. And then storage space, a couple cup holders. And here's the center console setup. And then notice the padding and the stitching here. And here's the glove box. And it says charger right there. And then popping here up to the top, we do have a sunglass holder, uh, all black headliner, and that's all. Now here is the window sticker for the charger. So you guys can see the base price right here. And uh, notice we got the 300 horsepower rating. Um, but anyways, all of the standard equipment with this. And then the optional equipment, again, black top package, cold weather uh, group as well. Total MSRP, $39,485. Do, do, do. Wait for it. Let's take it out and see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility of the hood, both of the mirrors. And then throughout the rest of the rear and let's set off so we are setting off here in the charger all-wheel drive and i just drove a challenger with all-wheel drive just before this so it'll be interesting to see the difference between uh, both of them right so first off from a ride quality perspective ah feels about the same starting off in the manual mode because uh this is my last review of the day i believe so we're gonna have a little bit of fun, okay? Gotta, gotta loosen up a little bit, right? Um, but anyways, smooth. It's crazy, the, the cars feel so similar, the Challenger and the Charger, there's really not a difference. That is a huge wing. Wow. Big wing gang. Uh, anyways. Yeah, body control's great. It's one of the things that's fun about the Charger is that, you know, it is a big, heavy car, but it also handles great. And it's, it's pretty fun to drive, uh, to be honest. But you know, Maybe it's because I uh, drive big pickup trucks all the time, and so I'm like, wow, anything that uh, is lighter and smaller than a pickup truck feels the like the most light and nimble thing ever on the planet. Maybe, maybe. But anyways, let's get our acceleration here at the Charger. Yeah, quick with the gear shifts. It's definitely solid. Down shifts are solid too. Okay. Yeah, turning's great. And obviously the all-wheel drive adds a ton of practicality for winter. Yes, yeah, transmission's so snappy. I love the eight-speed. Okay, summing things up here. Uh, so first off, exterior-wise, um, Challenger to Charger, right? The Challenger has that cool muscle car aesthetic, whereas the Charger kind of looks a little bit sportier. The Challenger's aged better. The Charger's still a good-looking car, in my opinion. Um, or Yes, the Charger's still a good-looking car, in my opinion. The Challenger, though, it's got that you know retro like modern retro design and so it's i don't know i think it's aged a little bit better and then from an interior perspective right it's kind of like your entry level package I, I think it still looks great though um you know again considering the money that this costs and everything that's it's solid and then from a driving perspective it's super similar to the challenger it's kind of crazy uh it's smooth it's comfortable it's a great daily driver gets decent fuel economy it's got good power uh, there's a lot to like about it um and I guess this is this is kind of like a random point, but like you can't get like a V6 Camry with all-wheel drive. You can only get that with front-wheel drive. You can get a four-cylinder camera with all-wheel drive. So like this, if you wanted to like get 
this is basically like what the V6 Camry would be if it had all-wheel drive. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, like it, if you think about it, it makes sense. So yeah, if you want uh, something like that, right? And, and I don't know, check out the charger. That's gonna sum things up for a video on this 2022 Dodge Charger SXT all-wheel drive. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larch Miller Dodge Ram here in Sandy for giving me some time with this charger. Check out the M-Tour in the description down below. I'll see all of you in that next video.